So, big it was a big season for Felicity in season three. Um, she got a lot of things. She lost a lot of things. Um, what is it, you know aside from her relationship with Oliver? What is it that Felicity is looking for now? You know, like you know, she has the man she loves, but you know, what else is she looking for? Well, I think that she sort of left this world behind her, and she wasn't necessarily aware how much she was going to miss it, and that is going to be the next big challenge for her. Um, she's also testing what this relationship is going to mean as well, to a certain extent, because Oliver has promised now that now's the time. Like, Okay, I've let go of some things that I was, and maybe, maybe now's our time. It's gonna work, and she's trusted in that in him, and now maybe she's thinking, I'm missing something. I'm missing. Well, with with the eventual return of, of, of the two of you, um, it seems everyone in Tino has picked up a weapon and started fighting, not you. In a sense, I mean, it, it, are, are we gonna see any more physicality from the city? Defend it. No. Two, she kicks ass behind the computer. She's a hero in her own sense. I do think it would be irresponsible of Diggle and Oliver for the past three seasons to not be training her. There's a lot that we buy when we watch story or TV that we say that happens off screen, and I believe it because you never get story anywhere. Um, and she, she works out. So, <laughs> she just stood up to like five hours a uh, I do, I do believe that she has been training, but I don't know if we're going to see her physical because if she were to be physical, who's going to be behind the computer? And she's a hero in her own sense, whether she has a suit or not. Since she ran off to the end of the season, how do you think her mom is going to feel about that? Well, I bet you mom's pretty damn happy. Mom probably wants babies. <laughs> mom probably wants like a nice little house, and I don't know if this does. But I think mom is pretty happy. She'd be happy to see her, her daughter with a strong man who cares about her. Is it? Malicious or gonna leave her. I think that's important. She's in love. Are we ready to jump at the thought of Michaela's away and the final moment in the sunset? Is she still, is she ultimately happy with this decision? Or is she still really in her own feelings? She's happy with her relationship, but her relationship's gonna take a lot of work. I mean, we come back within five months, we come back five months later. And so they've had five months of travel. Time together, like they've never spent time together, and they're not running from people killing them all the time because they've been away. Um, but with that said, I I don't know what we were talking about her, but she's so missing. She's got to feel a void if she's running away. But like, where's her purpose? Where is she finding that? Um, but she is in love, and we're gonna see them go through a little couple things. So that's always fun. Hopefully she gets her witty banter back. Are there, are there going to be any hints to Daddy Smoke? I don't know, like, I personally use Damien, but I don't know. I hope so. So I was in the writer room the other day, like, sneaking pics at the wall, and I feel like if it's going to come, it's going to come at the end of this season, or closer to the end, because there's a lot of things we have to flush out, but it wasn't on there yet. <laughs> and I really want to know, because that's something that they teased me since season two. I got my mom, so that, no, that's good. Charlotte is amazing. She is such a strong character. Uh, she has been from day one, um, even behind the computer, <laughs> and uh, more so. But the fans seem very split on, on the relationship with, with, um, with Oliver. As they uh, should be. Yeah. How do it's you feel hard. about that? Like, do you, um, do you think they were better as friends or as, as uh, lovers? I don't necessarily know if it's working better in a relationship. I do think that if they give it a fair shot and they're honest to each other and they trust each other, I think that's a beautiful union. Oliver's had a hard time trusting, and I think it's it's made Felicity kind of have a hard time trusting because you're with someone that you care for and that you love, and sometimes you can be in love with somebody and love people, and that's always a hard, hard folks swallow. Um, I think that some of them should be mad, some of them should be happy. I'm not sure who I agree with per se. I didn't necessarily think she gave enough respect to Ray. I don't think she justified her relationship. She it wasn't trick. Like the relationship wasn't smooth for Felicity. And it, I think I think she learned a lot about herself and if she could be in a relationship with somebody who really cares for her. And I think that was a really important learning curve for her. And maybe that's sort of what's led her to this now. And now she's able to do this because it takes two. Um, but I was a little upset for not giving giving him an explanation. I know he knew, but it's hard when uh, relationships are complicated, and if you want to stay friends with someone, that's even that's even more.
more difficult and it gets even worse when they turn into dust. So, <laughs> What, what can you tease about Felicity's role on Vixen? Because I believe you're going to be on it. On which set? On Vixen, the, the new animated show. Vixen? Yeah, I read I read somewhere that you and Carlos Valles and Grant Gustin and Stephen Amell were going to be on it. On Vixen that, you know... So I don't know much about it. Oh. <laughs> like, I'm going like, did that ever... It was supposed to happen. Maybe I read, read, read something wrong. I know, I was like... That was like, that like passed through my brain very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen so thank you for reminding me. No. <laughs>